guys, Jeff from VersaChalk. Here today to show you a, uh, our Generation 3 uh, Tilting Davit system. Uh, we've got some cool new features that, uh, that we added since our last Generation product, Generation 2 product. So uh, these particular Davits uh, come in a couple different models. Uh, this particular model here has uh, 20 wheels. This is more designed for uh, rigid hull inflatables, as well as uh, some um, soft out inflatables uh, wheels will make it easier to load as well. So this one has the wheels on it, we go off the same model without wheels. And um, each particular kit is going to include two Davit arm assemblies and then our exclusive um, threaded deck plates, uh, which are, they come with four of them per kit. And these get mounted directly to your platform permanently. That's the only thing permanent uh, in the install. The Davit arms are completely removable. Um, so the way that you would install these uh, it's going to be with two bolts. We have a shorter one for the back and uh, a longer one for, I guess this would be the aft and this would be the fork. So a long bolt here, short bolt here. Um, so also, these come in uh, two, different, two different mounting locations. Um, this particular uh, boat has a 24 inch uh, roughly platform. So we had to go with a, it's a little bit narrower than typical. So we actually went with a spacing to where it's going to be located like this. It's going to push the keel of the tender about 10 inches off the back, and that's going to give us a little bit of room here still. The standard spacing for most larger platforms would put the edge here, which there wouldn't be enough room here to get the tender up. So um, this is standard. This is narrow platform. So uh, let's get this installed here, and we'll show you some of the features and how they work. So I'm just going to hand tighten this bolt right here. And then... Um, I'm going to drop this bolt in here um, in order to get a wrench on it. I like to just use a, keep a, um, a box and ratchet handy and uh, it makes it quick to tighten these up. Um, so before I tighten this, I want to tilt the arm. And uh, in doing that, I wanted to show you some cool features that we added this, uh, to this Generation 3 model we didn't have on the Generation 2 model. The Generation 2 model had just a locking pin right here, which we still have. So this is basically your safety lock pin. Uh, you're going to want to keep this in anytime you got the tender on and you're going to be traveling or anything. But for loading and unloading, um, we added this really cool feature. It's, a, it's a basically a spring-loaded latch. So when you want to tilt the arm down, you can pull the pin out. Pull the pin out. And then when you want to tilt the, the arm down, just pull back on the latch. Just like that. You can see the, the tongue groove right here. This is uh, kind of like the striker right here, and then uh, so it makes it real easy when you want to when you want to load your tender. Uh, the other thing we did too is um, we've got our limiting strap, which we did have on the Gen 2 model, but we added some uh, a loom on here. What this kind of does is it, it keeps the the strap from falling in between here and getting caught up in your underneath the uh, the arm when you go to fold it down. So when you go to load the tender up, when you go to fold this down two features really help this. Uh, number one is the loom on here, and then this latch right here, when you got to fold the tendon down, all you got to do is push it like this, and you're done. Uh, of course, once you get everything loaded, the tender's on there, you want to come back and put your pen in here before you head out to sea and uh, get any kind, of, any kind of water. Okay, so to load the tender, all we're going to do is pull the pen out of this arm here too. Dump the, dump the arm down, pull our latch back, dump the arm down. Um, another tip, you want to get these uh, these adjusted. So you want the rollers at the tips here, you want them high enough off the water, low enough, I should say, to the water, that the tubes of the tender are going to ride up. You don't want it to be caught underneath. Uh, but you don't want this uh, too low in the water where you're trying to pull it up at a vertical angle. There's different ways you can pull the tender up. Of course, you can pull it up manually if it's light enough. Um, some of the, uh, once you start getting into heavier tenders, um, especially if you have a, a narrower platform and it's cantilevered arm farther, it's a little tougher to pull it up. So, easier. Uh, we have a couple of different options. We do have um, other videos that show different winch options for this exact system. The one we have today is uh, kind of our favorite. We mounted a, um, an electric winch in the cockpit of the boat. And then we have this removable uh, guide roller up here, which uh, 
just going to take the strap from the electric winch and then come down to the tender. We did come up with a bridle. It's real simple. Uh, we basically have um, a cam buck, two inch wide cam buckle strap and we put one end of it to the uh, to the bow eye on the uh, tender underneath and then we run it just underneath this tube right here. You can see the end of it right here uh, of this connected to it. But the other end goes to the uh, underneath the tube to the stern eye on this side, to the starboard side of the, uh, of the tender. And then in the center of it, um, right where our, in the center line of uh, the path of our, our guide strap for our winch, uh, we put a carabiner, uh, we tied it in a knot right on that bridle strap there. That way it can't slide back and forth. So once you have this position in here, it's going to help hold your tender uh, nice and straight. <laughs> there's tension on this as we fold it down we're gonna have to let a little bit of line out so that the arms will settle down into the latches so all I'm gonna do is just get a nice little push here and I'm gonna release some of this out get it latched in and um, we can disconnect this now and uh, that's all there is to it these latches really make it easier to load um, so with that the only thing you want to make sure after this now um, is to uh, get your uh, your permanent secure pins uh, in the davit arms, and then get your tie downs on, and you're ready to hit the road. So, uh, thanks for watching our Generation Three product. I uh, hope you enjoyed our video.